Hello, hello, and welcome to Insights with Lisa. I am so excited today to be talking about the high potential visa that is due to launch this month on the 30th of May. So um, I'm just gonna go right into the video. If you haven't subscribed, um, on this channel and you think the information I'm sharing is useful, please hit that like, comment, uh, subscribe and share the video with anyone you think um, is going to find it useful. So without wasting any more time, I'm just going to go right into the video. So let's uh, go through it together. So what is a high potential visa? So a high potential visa is a um, visa that's available to recent graduates of the top global universities who wish to work or look for work in the UK. So this visa, as I've said, will be available from the 30th of May um, this year. So what are these qualifying universities? So what we understand so far is that every single year, um, the UK government will look at these three different uh, ranking criterias and then they will look at the ones that have appeared in two of those rankings and they'll also look at the ones that are in the top 50. And those will be uh, the universities that are eligible um, for the high potential visa. So the ranking um, criteria that they'll be using is times higher university, uh, quarry, quarry Siemens, um, I struggle with that word, um, the academic ranking of the world universities. Uh, so those are the three that they'll, they'll be using to... to um, as a criteria for people to come into the UK. So currently, as it stands, there are no African universities. So we're talking about Harvard um, universities, those really, really uh, top universities. So I know that this might be a disappointment to many of you. So if you, you can actually look at these rankings yourself, if you go on Google, you can have um, a feel of what um, kind of uh, universities are on the top 50 at the moment. So, so you're required to hold um, an equivalent to a UK bachelor's degree and it needs to be within five years. Um, you, you should have started uh, this degree um, within five years. Um, and also in terms of a visa, if you've got anything like uh, that's equivalent to a bachelor's degree or a master's degree, you'll be given two years. If you've got anything above that, like PhD, you're, um, you're eligible to get three years on your visa. So uh, English language requirement. If your degree is not taught in English, you'll be required to do at least... Um, B1 level uh, English test and this needs to include the four components reading writing speaking and listening um, I'll share more information on that I'll share a link um, that you can use to to, to um, yeah to see what um, where you can do this test so uh, another option is if your degree is taught in English you can actually go through to um, ECTIS who will then assess your degree and make sure that it meets the um, the level that's of English that's required in the UK. So financial requirements, uh, I guess this answers two questions. The first one is you can bring along a dependent. So dependent will be your partner and your children. Those are the uh, people you can bring under dependent visa. So if you are in the UK, you're not required to produce any financial uh, financial uh, bank statements to show that you can support yourself. If you've lived in the UK for at least 12 months at the, at the point of uh, making an application, you do not need to prove that you can afford to stay in the UK. However, if you um, are applying from outside the UK, you need to show that you can afford to live in here. So you need to have at least... 1270 for yourself in the bank account for at least 28 days before you make the application um, 
if you're applying for your dependent, so your partner, you need to have £285 uh, in addition. If you're applying for a child, you need to pay 315 for the first child. If you've got a second child, third child, fourth child, whatever number ch children you've got, you need to pay £200 um, for them. Uh, can you switch to uh, another visa? Uh, the answer is yes, you can switch to another visa. However, you cannot switch to the following. You can't switch to visitors. You can't switch to short-term students. Um, and you can't switch to um, those who've been granted leave to remain outside the immigration rules. Uh, parents of child at school or uh, and domestic worker or visa holders so you won't be able to switch to any of those but you could switch to um, possibly a skilled worker visa um, scale up visa that's also coming up I'll do an update video on that um, there's the there's a broad uh, list of visas that you can move into uh, there's no sponsorship required which is marvellous, which is really, really good. Um, and yeah, your your partner can also come with you and there's no restrictions in terms of where they can work and how they can work. You can also come into the UK and set up your own business, uh, your own business and register yourself as a self-employed if you like. So there's really no, no limita limitations in terms of what you can do. Um, immigration uh, options on completion so basically at the end of your um, period whether it's two years or three years um, it's not possible for you to extend it that's the maximum that the UK are offering however you're able to to switch your visa into something else um, settlement again you can't use high potential visa um, <clears throat> to get settlement it doesn't lead you to get settlement so <clears throat> basically the the only option there is to switch just before your visa expires so this is the end of my presentation i hope you've enjoyed it if you've enjoyed uh this video please comment like share and spread the love and thank you so much for joining me i'll see you in my next video it's bye for now